morning, good morning. Hope everyone is doing fantastic. It is a nice, cozy Sunday morning. We are chilling. We're having a good time. We got our coffee. BB is sleeping hard this morning. Uh, I was up a little late. Not not meaning to be, but well, I guess kind of. But uh, Saturday nights is kind of like me and some buddies play WoW and do all, all of our group stuff that day. So that's what we had going on. Uh, so we were up a little bit late, but not too bad. Um, we were going to get into Earthbound, uh, get back to it today. Keep the grind going. Uh, it's been super fun. We finished the Titanic Ant, I think is where we left off. Uh, so we weren't too crazy far into the game. I mean, that was only like an hour that we got to play. So we're getting back to it. Getting back to the grind. Uh, let's go ahead and boot it up. This game's so chill. It's so good. Yeah, we were level 11. I think the... Uh, oh, we have to go to the stupid police station. That's what... That's where we were. That's where we left off. They yelled at us. They said, don't you know how to read? Don't you know how to read, kid? And I said, nope. My mom never taught me. She just feeds me pizza. The music's so good. Are we set to go to the police? I guess we should check. We're all healed up. We got some hamburgers. Oh, we're good. Let's go. Let's go talk to the police. What you got for me, guys? You trying to yell at me? The mayor gave me the key. So here you are, you little delinquent. I came back from Giant Step. Now you listen here. Don't enter means that. Just that. Do not enter. You got that? Furthermore, blah blah. Blah blah. It's usually those tax evaders who. Blah blah. Blah blah. We don't enjoy blo blocking off roads, you know. It's usually the local whiners that make a big deal about it. emergencies and meter rights. Man. You know they pay your your salary, right? Like, like they, they pay your taxes, so then they pay you know, that's how that's how life works. You're a civil servant. Why is the road to Tucson closed? An emergency, of course. At times like this, kids like you should just be playing Nintendo games. This guy seeing through the fourth fourth wall. Anyway, are you sure you want to go to Tucson? Okay, follow me. Show me what you got. So you can get past five of my best men. Yeah. Hey, small fry. You must be shaking in your boots. Not really. I mean, I just killed a giant ant. I don't think a police officer is going to be too terrifying. Okay, that was a, a little bit of damage, but I think we're fine. Turning back to normal. I think we're going to have to eat a hamburger already. Your average policeman is stronger than any superhero. I don't know about that. That's a uh, that's quite the boast. Quite the boast. Superheroes are pretty strong. Like, have you seen Superman? You didn't die? Uh oh. We have to eat another hamburger? Nice. Oh, you won. 
Don't let the mayor's compliments give you a big head. Bring it on, fat boy. Fat boy? Fat boy? Who talks to a kid like that? What a... What a crummy... Okay, this guy's getting it. Just a... You're getting blasted, guy. Get out of here. Freaking wacky with my baseball bat. Bad boy, get the f That's just rude. Let's do this again sometime. Next time I'll take you out with my nu nuclear suplex attack. Yeah, I'm sure. Come on, I'm gonna take you apart right here, right now, baby. These are weird people. Her police officers are so strange. Kind of creepy. Oh, don't miss Ness. Come on. There we go. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, we're rocking the, the chill light blue today. I love these shirts. These are like my favorite. They're like my favorite chill shirts. For the fall. Hanley's are, are, are top notch. That's it, buddy. You can forget about me. I'm going to call for my boss. What a wuss. There's no way I can beat you in a straight competition, so get ready for my Super Ultra Mambo Tango Foxtrot Martial Arts. Those are intense martial arts, sir. Please don't kill me. Okay. He buffed himself by getting angry? Oh my god. Oh, the smash! Huge crit. That was massive. Hey, we leveled up. Offense up by three, speed by two, guts by three. That's nice. That's crit. Vitality by one, IQ by two. Luck went up by three. Max P or max HP went up by fifteen. Max PP by seven. And we got shield. I didn't think uh, you would do so well against the mighty on it police force. Want me to open the road to Tucson? Hang on for a second. I'll radio my staff and give them the word. Beep, beep, click, click. Strong here. Do you read me? It's me, Captain Strong. Okay, listen. A kid named Ness will be there in a few minutes. He's a kid in a red cap. I need to open the road to Tucson for him. I know. I know that. Don't ask me why. I just do it. That's an order. Well, kid, I'm not going to question you now. But I do want to see you again. Good luck. You know, at least that guy was pretty nice. His officers are creepers, though. Uh, we do need to probably sleep. Do a little nappy nap. I ate all my hamburgers, too. I should probably pick up some hamburgers. Yeah, we're freaking rich. Dad is just shelling out the money. Bum, bum, bum. Since I did wake up a little bit late, I do need to take Vivi out to go pee really quick when our ad comes up. It's 
just in a couple of minutes. Uh, just so I can get that out of the way. But I'll just do that during the ad. We forgot to talk to Dad. We gotta save. Uh, these old games, man. If you don't save, you're screwing yourself. Out of hours of gameplay. Because you can just get rocked in this game. I'm, it's ridiculous. The crits are just out of control sometimes. Um, I think we have all the gear. Yeah, we have the T-ball bat. We have the, uh, the better cap. And the bracelet. She just has cold remedies, which actually... We have one, so I think we're good. Let's get a couple hamburgers. Bum, 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 just to be safe. Just to be safe. Yo, what up? What up, lady? I would like some hamburgers, please. Thank you. I would like another hamburger. Maybe one more hamburger. And I think that's everything. I think we move on to Tucson. Do we go in these houses? I try to talk to everyone, because you never know in these damn games. City Hall is the east. You know where the sun rises. What up, kid? I moved here from far away. Or from the way, way, way away next town. In the next town, there's the, what's, what is the name? Uh, Polar Star Preschool. Preschool is at Paula's house. Paula uses, what's it called? Uh, magic. Psychic powers? I have psychic powers. Nobody? Nobody's home? Get out of here, bird. If you're trying to sell us newspaper, go away. I don't read the paper. And we don't want any milk either. Oh, you know, just your neighborly uh, milk delivery, man. That still happens. What a strange concept that was. I mean, I guess it made sense. Pizza? I didn't even think about pizza. Open soon, mock pizza on a branch. There's also the bakery. Yo, I'm cutting in line. Skip sandwich, lucky sandwich. I don't remember what the lucky sandwich does. Does that make you crit? to Tucson. Hey, bud. You're doing well. Keep it up. The town map can be checked out at the library. You can also use the map in Tucson. It's really useful. Hey, are you, Ness? Well, I got the okay from Chief Strong to let you through. Take care of yourself. Aye, aye. Get away from here. Frickin' slugs. Well, this is the mouse guy. I live rent-free in the mouse's house. The mice are known as exit mice. They're very kind, and boy, are they fast. I really love these guys. Please take my son along. He may look like a regular small mouse, but he can lead you to an exit. Take my son. He's a tough boy. You can treat him as one of your items. Ah, get in here. Just stuff him in. Stuff him in your bag. Get in there, bud. Help. Oh, that's right. You can do that. That'll tell you what everything is. Look at all those hamburgers.
Retro Blast. Oh, our ad's coming up right now. Um, like I said, I'm gonna take Vivi out really quick. We're gonna just chill on this music. Bum, 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 bum. All right, we'll be right back. I'm gonna take Vivi out to be. Man, having a backyard is just so <laughs> so useful. So so much better than freaking living in an apartment. Makes it so easy to take her out and stuff if she just needs to go go quick. These freaking mushrooms, I hate them so much. These are like my worst nightmare in this game. In the this and the UFOs. Freaking hate the UFOs. These put the freaking mushroom on your head. Which messes up your movement. And the the aliens or the the UFOs put freaking um, uh, cold on you, which is super annoying. Which is why you need the cold remedies. Super annoying. Some of the moms, man. But that's that's all RPGs. Some people are just annoying. Eat that hamburger. Bum, bum. I've also decided that um yeah once we once we beat this I mean this game's gonna take us. Probably through next week. But we're gonna start the uh, the Final Fantasy. There goes the mushroom. We got the mushroom on our head. I think we have to go back to the hospital to get rid of that. It's so frustrating. If it stays on there for too long, then you start walking funny. You start walking in funny directions. Organ XP. That was such a common thing in in old games, because there wasn't I mean there's not much you can do to mess with people in old games, so they just they fricked up your controls. <laughs> it was like ah just just yeah, see it's starting to do it now. Freaking down is left. Oh god. Somebody takes the mushrooms, and I don't remember who it is. Oh god. Okay, so I think it's like this. We just have to- we have to turn the controller, it makes it easier. Oh, is that in Tucson? Maybe it is in Tucson that takes the mushrooms. Oh god, we're gonna have to go that whole way with a mushroom on our head? Okay, now I think... It's just opposite. It changes too, that's the worst part about this one. Um... It changes, randomly. It's just like, meh... Oh, maybe it's the old dude in here. So now down is up. Up is down. Right is left. It messes with your brain, man. Oh, oh yeah, here we go. If you have some illness that cannot be treated at a hospital, it's my job to cure you. Hey, now that I notice, could you sell me the mushroom growing on top of your head? Come on, let's make a deal. $50 for each mushroom. See? Look at that, we got paid too. We got freaking paid to give him a mushroom. Beautiful. <laughs> 
Try and avoid these. The mushrooms are so annoying. Try and avoid them. Dodge. Beautiful. Oh, the vibe change is so good. Bum 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 bum. Tucson Town. Would you like me to tell you about Tucson? Sure, sure. Modern clean hotel. There's a hospital and the wonderful chaos theater. There's the Polster Preschool and a nice bus station. If you're curious, you might want to check out Berglund Park. It's exciting. East of town, you find the peaceful Rest Valley. On the other side of the valley is Happy Happy Village. There's also a pizza parlor. Do you want to know anything else? Well, tee I don't know anything else. Thank you for the information, I guess. Time for fuzzy pickles. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera, ready? Say, fuzzy pickles. Oh, wow, what a great photograph. It's always, it will always bring back the fondest memories. This is a cycle shop. Punk sure. Bicycles are so much fun and so convenient. It's a lot faster than walking. You'll be really popular with the biking crowd. Do you want a bicycle? Unfortunately, we don't have any more bikes for sale. We only have rentals. Do you want to rent one? I really like your straightforward style. I'll tell you what. I'll let you borrow a bike for free. You know that two people can't ride on one bicycle? So of course, three or four people on a bike would be impossible. Do you know that you can't ride a bike with anyone following you? Teddy bears, for example. Carrying a bear and riding is impossible for you. And don't even think about riding a bike into a cave. Well, now, the more you know. The more you know. Oh, the department store. Okay, let's get some money out. Let's buy some sweet stuff. Take my money. Oh, the bakery's in here, the burger shop's in here. Uh, how may I help you? Fry pan slingshot. Oh man, oh here we go, here we go. Give me a slingshot. Oh no. Okay, here's a cookie. Nice. A little bit more damage. You can take my T-ball bat. Um... I mean, we're gonna probably need the fry pan and ribbon and stuff eventually once we get Paula, but... No point in... readying up our, uh, inventory. can't play games? A teddy bear they sell. I heard it helps in battle. I don't know what they're talking about. It looks like a plain old teddy bear to me. So the teddy bear acts... I think it kind of acts like a substitute. In like Pokemon. Where it'll take damage for you. I want to visit my boyfriend and friend in Threed. Uh, except the bus won't go there. I wonder why. Let's buy a teddy bear. These things are actually pretty helpful, I think. Blossom Ross, what's going on? Welcome in. This is one of the best games ever, you are correct. It's nest time. The 
box seats are the most popular. Oh, well, give me the ticket, man. Give me the ticket. Would you like to return something? I don't need five hundred dollars sitting on me. We don't need to, we don't need to be freaking rolling around with that kind of cash. That's just asking for trouble. We just made it to Tucson. We gotta go talk to the the freaking bolster. Uh, give me the give me the butterfly. Well, I wanted to play with Paula, but she's gone somewhere. When I grow up, I want to be just like Paula. Paula's like a mother to me. You may not be able to comprehend my emotions. I might have a baby face, but I possess the mind of an adult. I beg your pardon? Alright, that kid's got some trauma. Whistle, whistle, anywhere. It makes me smile all the while. I'm Paula's mother. I'm busy taking care of these kids. You shouldn't worry about Paula. She's a guardian angel. So, you want to see Paula? Many come here to see her miraculous powers, but they're just leeches. So, are you from a TV station or what? Nope. To meet you or not to meet you can only be decided by Paula. Paula said that she would only meet with a boy named Ness. So, you're Ness. You're the one that was in Paula's dreams. You will save the world. We gotta call Paula. She doesn't seem to be here. I wonder where she went. I'm sorry, could you come back later? Well, yeah, I know. She told me that she needs help. Stupid, stupid parents. Dumb, dumb parents. I'm nuts about this one kid inventor. No, not that airhead, dweeby apple kid. I'm talking about the incredibly hot orange kid. That stupid slob, the apple kid, always makes me something, or uh, ask me for something to eat. He's an inventor, he should invent some food for himself. Damn, they're so rude to apple kid. It's just apple kid, man. Greetings, I'm Orange Kid, the inventor. Have you heard of me? I'm a bit embarrassed about my reputation. I have a lot of inventions developed, in development, but I'm running short on cash. I'm basically a happy-go-lucky person, so I'm not worried. You know, I'm working on this machine that would really help you in Peaceful Rest Valley. I hope it's ready soon. What? You're actually willing to help me finance the project? Okay, I gotta go get $200 on. Huh? I should've- I should've just kept the 400 that I had on me. What, are, what am I thinking? Oh wait, we have a bicycle. Oh wait, we have a teddy bear. I can't ride the bike. Never mind. Bum, bum, bum. It's gotta be so fun getting back in, like, in further into this game. I've done the beginning so many times, but like actually playing through and beating it has not been as many. So getting to the end or, or closer to the end will be. Way cooler to just see again. You know when you start up an RPG? You're just like, I'm gonna play this game again. And then you play, and you beat, like, the first four hours or five hours, and you're like, maybe I'll just not play that again. Because you get distracted by other games. It happens all the time. Maybe I just, I don't know. I probably have, probably have ADHD. Not diagnosed. But it's probably, it's probably there. I wouldn't say for sure, because, you know, you can't ever know unless you actually go, go get it figured out. And I got some symptoms. The magic butterfly, yeah. I think now we fight 
I'm remembering right. This dude. Is he gonna rock me? I feel like every time I've fought this guy the first time, he just beats the crap out of me. Ah! Why don't we chat later, after we've locked horns? Ever dread attacks. Freaking love the battle music. So much. Now we're just gonna pump into this dude. Oh, the teddy bear! Get it, teddy bear. I had to steal something. What a scumbag. Stole a hamburger! Get out of here. Give me my hamburger back. Give me my hamburger back. Nice, we leveled up. Oh, we didn't get anything. There's just a little bit of HP. I'm Everdread, boss of Berglund Park. When I jumped off the roof, I twisted my ankle. Anyway, I lost. Nothing will change that. You know, you're pretty strong. I know that you wanted to find out about a girl named Paula. She went off to a secret hideout in Peaceful Rest Valley. A chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit have kidnapped her, though. They said they were going to make Paula some sort of human sacrifice. They were definitely hardcore strange. You know, she might be gone already. You better hurry. If you save Paula, be sure to come back here, okay? Don't forget. Alright. I own an antique shop. No one is buying or selling anything. So I was thinking of selling the for sale sign that sits in front of me. It's only $98. I think with that we can sell stuff. Oh, whoops. We got too much crap. Let's go to the hotel. If I can remember where it's at. Might be down, down south. Oh, God. Rabbit dogs and a police officer. Hey, dude, we're getting strong. We've just been blasting things. Hotel? Nope. Just a big house. Another big house. There's the hotel. Ah! ah! Stupid mushroom. Ness! I'm Paula. I'm Paula. You hear me calling you. Help! Come and help me. I don't know where I am. I can hear water running in the distance. Ness, please help me. We gotta save Paula. That kid's got a mushroom on his head. He should go to the mushroom man. Why even put that why even code that guy into the game? He's just sitting there and says what? Uh oh, that's beautiful. Oh Paula! Where are you? It's time for a yummy piece of pie. Oh, her dad is panicked. Okay, I know we gotta go down to Orange Kid. Give him the monies. Oh god, not a hippie. 
These guys have some music though. When you fight them, this is a jam. New Age Retro Hippie. That slingshot is doing some damage. Juke him out. Oh, yeah. Perfect. I'm Orange Kid, the inventor. Oh, yeah, we already talked. Just need to give you money now. Here's the money. Your support should have a tremendous impact on all mankind. Let me give you my new Super Orange Machine. It's called Super... Soup... Soup Orma, for short. That is a horrible way to shorten that. that is, come on, kid. You could have made a better name. Um... Let's get rid of a hamburger, I guess. Please use it for spreading peace and goodwill on Earth. Orange Kid's Invention. The full name is Super Orange Machine. Is it the Apple Kid that gives us the other thing? Oh wait, no, it's not Apple Kid, it's the mouse. Well, I have so sort of neglected doing my housework. I know it's a bit of a pigsty, but anyway, I'm Apple Kid. I haven't taken a bath in quite a while, so I uh, may be kind of stinky. By the way, I'm starving. Do you have something to eat? If you do, can I have some? You know what? Here you go, bud. Have a hamburger. You seem very nice. Uh, I wonder, maybe you would like to invest some money in my inventions? I could really use $200. I gotta go get more money. I am a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. Broken machine? Nice. Don't worry, my brilliant invention will be ready soon. Okay, okay, I'll get back to work. Do we want to give Apple Kid the money? I think we do. Back to the department store. We're spending all our money. What's up, Mr. T? Good old dad just giving us a ton of money. What the heck does dad do? To make that much money. I need like four hundred dollars every day. It seems like you were expecting something from me. Maybe you'd like to invest some money. I can give you the money, my guy. I won't let you down. I am Mouse. No one has given me a name yet. You took care of my master. In return, I want to give you this. Please take it and say nothing. No! This is the one thing that burdens... Burns you in this game, man. The limited inventory space. Receiver phone. 
You can get phone calls with that. I think. Apple Kids Invention. Now you can receive important calls. Yeah. Paul is not home yet. Everton in Bergman Park might know something. Oh boy. Now I'm really worried. Yeah, we already we already fought Everton. Oh. It's Karen! It's a Karen! Karen turned back into Susan. I think we have to wait for the... the inventions? If I'm not mistaken? Maybe I'm wrong. That's right, we're the Runaway Five. We're popular but not rich. We're, we're being cheat, cheated by this theater and we're really in debt. We may be popular. The girl who lives in the, at the house with the preschool is the talk of the town. I want to see her someday. That's the hint. I don't need a hint. I'll figure stuff out on my own. If you're looking for Venus's house, it's next door. My daughter left for the big city to become a superstar. She's using the stage, stage name Vane. Oh, Vane something. She's working hard. Okay. Venus. Keep that in mind. Let's see what this... Do you have time to read this? Go immediately to the Chaos Theater. Wow. What a plug. It's the hospital. I'm trying to remember things. Come on. Whack this guy. You're wasting my teddy bear. Wasting my good teddy bear. Good cop. trouble than I expected. I found a problem in one of Einstein's theories. What does that have to do with your invention? What are you studying Einstein for? Maybe you shouldn't spend too much time wandering around Tucson. I think that's rude, Apple Kid. I told you a thousand times, lunch bunch, I won't join the happy happy religious group. If you get pushing me with me, I'll I'll pelt you with peanuts. The happy 
happy, happy religion. What is that? Is that a cat? Meow. I have a lot of old broken chunk, but I hate to throw anything away. If you have a friend who is knowledgeable about mechanics, the person might be able to fix something for you overnight. Man, a friend like that would be so handy. Oh, do we have to go sleep? Maybe we have to go sleep, and then I'll progress the, uh, the kids. To the hotel! Fifty dollars! Wait, I only had... It said I only had forty-seven. Maybe I had... Oh, I had ninety-seven. Okay. Okay, are the kids done with their, their technological advancements? Deposit $348 in your bank account. 310 now. Thank you, Dad. Mr. T, what are you doing? I saw some weird bad guy following Paul out. That guy gives me the creeps. Why didn't you do anything about it, Mr. T? Why don't you hit him with a mohawk grenade? Yeah, did I get you with the nostalgia there? The mohawk grenade? World of Warcraft? Remember those goddamn <laughs> commercials? When they got celebrities to do ridiculous cameos for World of Warcraft commercials? <laughs> Oh. I'm hard at work. Don't. Okay, okay. I'll get back to work. Would you finish it already, Mr. A Mr. Orange Kid? Maybe we do have to go. Um. Yeah, maybe we do have to go. Out to the other place. I don't remember where the freaking exit is. Are you happy now? Happy, happy religious group. It's kind of terrifying. Oh, the bus station. This way. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you go to the east, you could run into some trouble. Peaceful Rice Valley and Happy Happy Village are waiting for you. I've also heard that there are UFOs in the Peaceful Rest Valley. I hear that a girl named Paula was kidnapped while helping out at the Polestar Preschool. I heard that as well. I don't even remember the last time I beat this game. It was a, it was a hot minute. These damn things. These damn sprouts. They make more of themselves. And we missed, so he's gonna make more. Oh, no, he healed. Don't take my. Oh, he took it from the from the teddy bear. Thank God. Dude, the teddy bear is so good. A croissant? Um, no. We have hamburgers. No. Oh my gosh. Why is it so hard to just leave behind a croissant? I don't need to say yes four times. <laughs> silly game. Silly, silly game. Oh, hey lady. Um dee dum dee dum I'm hunting for mushrooms. I'm going to collect a ton. Whoa, the vibe change, man. The music is so good. The 
The bridge is out. Cross bridge to Happy Happy Village. Freaking UFOs! I hate them. They give the cold remedy or the cold. For some weird reason, a pencil-shaped iron statue is blocking the path. Can we avoid the, the freaking UFO? Yeah? Oh no, we can't avoid this one. I swear, if he gives me a cold... We, we got teddy bear. No, the teddy bear. It did its duty. We'll have to get another one. They're so good. They're so useful at the beginning of this game. I retro. Nice. Max HP, max PP. And we learned paralysis. No! That's the worst. Stop stealing my pee pee. Hello, this is the Apple Kid. I've just finished work on this great invention. Get over here as fast as you can. This thing is so cool. See you soon. All right. No! The rambling blambling. kid. Oh, the orange kid's outside too. Are you looking for that so-called genius apple kid? As a true genius, I'll tell you that he's in Berkland Park looking for you. Apple kid, why would you be in the park? That's just silly. Well, that's not apple kid. There he is. I'm feeling really out of it because I've been working all night. But finally, the pencil eraser is ready. This machine will eradicate all pencil-shaped figures in just one second. It's incredibly powerful. Just don't use it near a shop that sells pencils. Here, it's yours now. What a silly invention. Ness got the pencil eraser. If I invent some other brilliant item, I'll call you. Nice! Now we can get past the pencil. The pencil statue. Ugh, our bags are so full. We're gonna go sleep really quick and then save and then we'll head back to uh, which we call it 
We'll head over to the Happy Happy Village. Need money. Oops. Four hundred nineteen dollars. Um, let's just grab a hundred out. Take a quick sleep. Oh no, we need a teddy bear. It'd be smart to grab a teddy bear. We're gonna have to get rid of something. That's okay, though. They're worth it. They soak so much damage. To the store! Were they? they were like 170 or something. I don't even remember the last time I was on an escalator. I guess I don't go to the mall very often, though, so... It's not <laughs> not a place for me. If I go there, I don't, I don't know about you, but if I go to the mall, I go in, I have my plan, get my stuff, and I get out. I could not spend that long in a mall. We have too much stuff, don't we? Uh-oh. That's unfortunate. I want to get the teddy bear. Seven dollars for the hamburger? What a ripoff. Alright, Teddy. Let's go save Paula. I need to grind a little bit, to be honest, because we haven't spent that much time leveling up since we've came to Tucson. So maybe we should grind a bit. Mr. Hippie, we'll, we'll fight you. Thousand XP to the next level. Yeah, it would just be really nice to be able to uh, do a bit more damage, have a little bit more safety net. Oh, we can one shot those now. That's so good. Take it from Teddy. Oh, here we go. I just say it didn't work on them. Bum, 
bam bam bam. That's probably the best thing that it does is it soaks. It soaks freaking magic things. So useful. Teddy putting in the work. Chill, what is going on? That was freaking rude. There we go, though. Level up, nice. Chill. Crap. That was terrifying. We're good though. What's Mr. Mole say? I'm not an enemy, I'm just a regular mole. Would you like to know how to survive battles? What a cute little way to like give hints. Use the pencil eraser. The iron statue was erased. It obliterated. Is there anything up top here? Oh, ho, 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 fuzzy pickles. That's what's up here. Picture is taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles. Ah, oh, nice cute picture with our teddy. What a what a good picture. That's a good one. That is a freaking good one. What the heck? Getting attacked by a freaking tree? Territorial oak. Ow, oh, teddy bear! Brain shock? Didn't work on this. What was that? It burst into flames! Oh my god, do we need to go back? Oh no. Oh god, we're surrounded. We can do this. <gasps> dodge. Duke, dodge. We do need to do some grinding. Be nice to get one more level. Just to be safe. Oh no, we have a cold. Colds are like frickin' poison damage. So unfortunate. We have the remedy though. Might as well use it. Drink that NyQuil. Let's go get another Teddy. Oh god. Let's 
As long as we don't get smashed, we'll be solid. That didn't kill. Oh no. Oh god. Anything? If we use the exit mouse. Oh, no, it'll just take us backwards. Dang it. I was hoping it'd take us to the front. Well, we might die here. I don't have any heals or anything. Oh, wait, we can life up. Oh, nice. Thank God. Thought it cost ten. Oh no. And we have a mushroom on our head now. This is looking rough. Good. We can do this. Oh my god! I hit myself. Why, game? Why'd you do this to me? Oh. Stay away from the mushrooms. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Almost got destroyed by ourselves. Uh, let's get. Oh, whoops! I did the wrong one. Life up. <laughs> Holy crap! No, 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 no! <laughs> the controls changed. The game's trolling me. Okay, we gotta get to the hospital. Oh god. Freaking troll game. Okay. Nope. It changed again. There we go. We got it. Ah. Back to normal. Back to normal. Wait, the hospital's not here. It's up. It's up north. Alright, old man. Would you like a mushroom? Nice. Thank you, sir. Okay. We can go... Sleep. And then get another teddy bear, I guess. Ooh. This game is relentless sometimes. Freaking relentless. Dear old dad. Grab some money quick, head to the store. Get a teddy bear.
weird. You're not who I want to talk to. Hello. I would like a teddy bear, please. We, we also, um... Nice, we can pick up some, some hamburgers. Good old hamburgers. Maybe we get some croissants. Oh, never mind. Ma'am, I would like a hamburger, please. Make it two. I'm a hungry, growing boy. No, stay away from the crazy Karen and the crazy cop. We gotta, we gotta save this teddy bear. It's coming with us. This cave, it always just ruins our time. No, don't put a mushroom on my head, you jerk. Does the lady outside also give us, take the mushrooms? I think she does. The one that says she's collecting them? I think she does. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, nice. Ma'am, I would like to talk to you. I would like to talk to you. Please. Sure. Here you go. Thank you. God bless that lady. Take that mushroom off my head, please. No! We didn't get any freaking cold remedies. That's not good. We should have picked up a gold remedy. It's okay. I think we'll be okay. We'll just try and avoid the UFOs. Awesome. Hey, we making progress. We're making progress. Is it just me or does the freaking slingshot feel like it misses so much? Oh god, what is that? Another kind of you- oh, Spinning robot! Oh, frickin', you killed my- it Took him one hit, he killed my frickin' teddy bear! You jerk! And we have a cold. 
Oh god, and we take damage from it? Please be a cold remedy. Luck capsule. Increases your luck when taken. Is that a permanent buff? Yep. Little things I don't remember. We're gonna die. Oh wait, we can um... We can heal. I forgot. I think that'll get rid of our gold. Come on. Come on. Get him, Ness. Good job. Oh, he didn't die. Thank you. We were just getting bullied out here. Nice. Travel charm. Must be equipped on your body. It protects you from paralysis. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, come here, butterfly, please. The life saving magic butterfly. Freaking tree. Spinning robo. Where do we gotta go? Oh, you jerk. You jerk. He had to give me a cold. Oh, level up. And our off. That went so high. Eight. Up by eight. Defense by two. Speed by one. Guts by two. IQ by two. Luck by one. Max HP by two. Max PP by seven. Uh. We need to use healing again. And we need to life up. Hey, at least we have the those those psychic powers. Oh, and we're faster now, thank god. I feel like we're we're so much slower than everything. All the monsters can just attack so quick. Kind of crazy. Give me that butterfly. Magic butterfly made me relax. Freaking UFO. We just try to delete these guys. Get out of here. That's what I'm talking about. Didn't work. Come on. Holy moly, yeah, we, we gotta, we gotta do some grinding. Oh. Eel. Man. These things are just brutal out here. Freaking tree. Alright, spinning robo. Nice. 
nice. We gotta hope to get another freaking butterfly, cause. Ooh. I think this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Speak it into existence. That's uh. That's how we do that stuff. I wonder who made the bridge impassable. Why would someone do this? Good. Croissant inside. A bomb inside. Well, let's get that bomb. Damages an enemy you and use during battle because it's explosive power. It may affect others besides the target creature. That also hit us. Is that what it's trying to tell me? Yeah, you know, blow up the entire party. Sometimes you gotta make sacrifices. Do we save the bomb for the boss? That oh oh what? How oh, was that a back attack? I got scumbagged. That's what that was. That was cheating. Dude, that didn't even do that much damage. They're resistant to psychic powers? Alright, I'll take it. Skip sandwich. <gasps> you want to throw away the hamburger? Don't really want to, but. Okay, we're gonna need a butterfly. Oh my god, a freaking tree! Get out of here! Oh god. We're in a pickle. We're in a pickle. Gives you spring in your step for 10 seconds. Also helps you recover your power a bit. What's down? Nothing. That's not good. Oh, god, the trees. These things freaking hurt, man. so bad when they die they blow up <laughs> holy crap okay butterfly please oh thank you thank you thank you thank you perfect Those butterfly coming in clutch. That's fine. Nice! Vitality up, max HP up. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, let's go this way. 
There was a uh, in, in a little item box over here, a present. How is that not a back attack? That's silly. Two ninety seven, nice. Cup of Life Noodles. It's amazing. We're gonna use this. I want the live noodles. Revives a friend. It gets rid of everything. Revives a friend who is unconscious. In addition, it works well on poison, nausea, colds, sunstroke, falling asleep, uncontrollable crying, and feeling strange. This is effective when you have para paralysis or you have been diamondized. The life noodles, man. Cup noodles. Saving lives. Please, Ness. Good stuff. I just want to get out of this area. They're destroying me. Where's that house at? Is that house down here? No, it's right there. How do we get to that? Around here? No? Oh, it's through a cave. Okay. Mr. Robo. Into the cave. A snake? These things are so weak. Why are they here? I will leave the cookie behind, yes. Silly snakes. Oh. This is a creepy vibe. Welcome to Happy Happy Village. We wanted to join the Happy Happy Religious Group. We're a married couple from Tucson. Our child is waiting for us in Tucson. As a souvenir, we'd like to bring him some happiness. You might misunderstand what I have to say, but... Our painter's voice affects one's mind like a hypnotist. You don't seem to understand, so I'll explain it to you. When the world is changed to blue, a peaceful country can be established. Do you understand now? No. Although you don't understand now, someday you will. That is a cult, my friend. It's a cult. You're being affected by a man. One day, Mr. Carpainter received a revelation. He now speaks the real truth. Cults are terrifying. Like in, in, in actual life, the, the way people get manipulated in cults is just absolutely terrifying. Excuse me, tourist. I'm collecting donations to help protect the world from contaminants. Your good deed will be rewarded. Here's a postcard. Um, my partner likes to watch like a bunch of those true crime stuff and and 
She watches a lot of the, the cult stuff. It's very creepy. I'm not sure. I'm not sure doing friends. In Valley Behind Three. Ding ding. Mr. Car Painter communicates with the divine, so he's able to deliver inspired messages. There's an ad coming up, just a second, just for you guys to know. The insane cult has trapped you. They're so creepy! Okay, well they seem weaker than, uh, than the robots and stuff outside. You want to talk to Mr. Carpenter directly? You must think you're pretty important, and boy do you have a lot of nerve. You deserve to be struck by lightning. Lady! Oh god, okay, well that, that looks like the cult house. Did they paint that cow blue? This might be a tough boss fight because we're out of like everything. Unless there's like a hotel we can stay at. We're all like one big happy family here in Happy Happy Village. Basically our policy is to only allow family members to stay here in the village. However, if you're interested in learning about happy happyism, we make an exception and let you stay for $50. Okay. Very well, be sure to do your blue blue chant before bedtime. Ugh. At least we got to sleep. So now we can at least have a chance to beat this. Oh god. He's freaking waiting for me outside. What's this guy got to say? He's wearing a creepy mask. The overweight kid helped me. We kidnapped Paula. You know she's hidden in a mountain cabin? Oh, oh, now I've done it. I thought you were one of us. You know I was joking. <laughs> Just forget about this. Okay. Good to know. Mr. Carpenter wants a girl. No, I don't mean like that. I mean, I meant he's looking for a girl who can be the high priestess of happy happyism. I heard he's already got her. Oh, cults are terrifying, man. Though you may not believe it, I'm a healer. Oh, he, this is the guy that takes mushrooms off your head. Good stuff. And that's a hospital. Uh, the only thing that sucks is I don't think there's an ATM. Blue, blue, I wish for everything in this world to become blue. I'm monitoring those who don't pay at the food stand. I think that those who won't paint everything blue are opposed to peace. I want them all to listen, even if it requires kicking their butt. There's a place ahead that can't be painted blue. It's a strange and anti-blue place. I can't stop thinking about it, and I can't ever go near that place. Okay, we're here. We're here. We can buy stuff. Stand lot bat. Oh man. And copper bracelet? Holmes hat? Oh, we need to get some stuff. Hold up, hold up. How much money is dad giving us? We got upgrades. We got upgrades, baby.
Crap. Our bags are so full! Take the frickin' bomb. Okay, slight upgrade. Not amazing, but not bad. Um... Holmes hat? 21 to 25, that's a pretty big defense jump. That's pretty good. Copper bracelet. Defense from 25 to 30. Nice! Oh, we got so much off that. I can't remember, does the cup of coffee re-give re you a PP? I think it does. No, it's just 12 HP. Never mind. What's the lucky sandwich? Does that give you luck? I'm guessing it does. Refreshing herb. I wish you could learn what things do before you buy them. That'd be nice. Oh no, I don't want the cold remedy. I was hitting the button too fast. What's the refreshing herb do? I gotta know. It helps when you've been poisoned, or if you're feeling nauseous. It also has other uses. Okay, so it just is a stronger cold remedy. It gets rid of everything. Okay. We should save. And then let's go into the cold house. See if we can do this. We got we got super upgrades now. Do we believe? Can we take this guy down? Get out of the way, lady. Maybe you should get struck by lightning. Get out of the way. I, I need Fusro, duh. Get out of the way, lady. Um... So... If I remember... There's certain ones that you can fight to open up pathways. Blue Blue! Oh, you'd like to be one of us? Then give up what you're doing and go meet Mr. Great Mr. Carpenter as soon as possible. Blue blue, don't bother us. We're in the middle of a prayer. Okay, I'll move out of your way. Go quickly. Huh. No problem here. I want to talk to this guy. What are you saying? That I'm only capable of walking in place? That's not true. See? Green, green. Oops, that's not it. I'm still new at this. Skip sandwich inside. Oh god. The game. It's rendering so, so, it's struggling so hard. Blue, blue, I'm trying to learn how to whistle. I heard that whistling makes one smile. I'll practice over there. Blue blue, you strange unmasked fellow, don't go to heaven. Oh damn. Time to fight the cultists.
nice. This is so terrifying. Blue Blue, you can't be happy unless you know happy happyism. This should wake you up. Ah! Oh, baby. The smash. The smash. That feels so good to get those. So much damage. I... I screamed, because I didn't know what else to do. Crazy man. Alright, well, this looks like Mr. Car Painter. Thanks for coming, I've been waiting for you. I need your assistance to make the world blue, and change it into a happy and peaceful society. Will you be my right hand assistant? No. If you don't want to be my right hand, my left would be just fine. Just kidding, your assistance is a problem for me and my religion. Defy me and I'll end your pitiful game. He zapped us with lightning. That's pretty rude. Do we have to say yes? Do we need Paula? I think we need Paula first. Maybe that's what it is. I said Paula was in a cave. Maybe she's this way. Or she's up here. There's two caves. Bum, bum, bum. These are some ballsy crows. <laughs> Big old smash. I don't need the cookie. It sounds yummy, but I don't need it. Who? Are you Ness? Ness! I'm so glad it's you. I had a dream that a boy named Ness was my destiny. I know it's hard to believe, therefore I knew you would rescue me. If you didn't come, I would have had to try to bust out of here. You can't open the door? You'll have to get the key from Carpenter. He's got it hidden away. I heard Carpenter can control lightning. In that case, you should wear the Franklin badge, okay? What, do you want to get fried by lightning? Get rid of something so I can give you the Franklin badge. Ness got the Franklin badge. I'll wait here for you to return. Come back here and get me once you've defeated Carpenter. Don't worry about me. Just kick butt I, like I know you can. By keeping it as one of your items, it deflects a lightning attack back at the attacker. Okay. Well, that's so handy. Thank you, Paula. Oh. Hey, Ness. You're just here to bother me, aren't you? You can call me Master Pokey. Since Mr. Carpenter made me an important person in Happy Happyism, you should join us. I know you won't. I'm glad I joined. I'm not going to fight you, but these guys will. Later, Potato. Get out of here. I hate you, Porky. Get out of here. What a jerk. That guy is like one of my least favorite 
characters in games. Hey, Pokey. He's just a little turd. He's such a turd. Oh, we leveled up. Luck goes up. Max HP, max PP. And we got Psy Flash. Yeah, get out of here, you little turd. Bum, bum, bum. Yo! It generates a strong flash that can make an enemy start crying uncontrollably and in some circumstances feel strange. Nice! Protect one person with the shield of light and reduces damage. Caused by an enemy's attack by 50%. Okay. Shield's really good. Time to go fight Mr. Car Painter. I think we can beat this guy pretty easy. Ooh. Do we need to heal though? Maybe we should go take a nap. Can't believe they painted this cow blue. Making some serious progress here. Stay, stay away from me. Stay away. Nice. Okay. Um, which guy was it? This guy. This guy. That guy. This guy. We have to fight. Oh wait, no, we didn't have to fight that guy. Ugh. All right, here comes a boss fight. Let's take him down. Thanks for coming. I've been waiting for you. Carpenter's lightning was reflected by the Franklin badge. Get your lightning out of here. Let's throw up shield really quick. It didn't hit anyone. Oh, that's his lightning, I'm guessing. Oh, damn. Good thing we put up shield. Dude, that's so good. <laughs> he just beats himself. What an easy fight. Did you see the Manny Manny statue behind me? Since I got the statue, I've been doing peculiar things. Please forgive me. If you can, I just wanted to have a normal life. I apologize to everyone. Here's the key to open the jail in the mountain cabin where Paula is being held. Take the key and go. Should, you should take this even if you need to throw away one of your items. What do I get rid of? The broken machine? A couple life noodles? I need a bigger backpack, man. Now get out of here, you creepy cultist.
It looks like I'm dropping frames. But I wonder if that's Twitch. Because I don't think I'm losing any on my end. sort of itself out just now. Looks like it's not getting worse. Ha! Ah, I lied! See you, sucker! Okay. Yeah, I think it, I think it stabilized. I think it was Twitch. Okay, Paula, you're coming with me. Let's get her out of this. Freaking creepy. Creepy shack that this guy had her holding. Weirdo. Ness, you got the key. Are you hurt? Um. Sorry for all the trouble I caused you. Thank you, Ness. You're just like I imagined you would be. I'm sure that some people in Tucson are worried about me. Getting back there may be dangerous, but we can do it if we combine our strength. I'm able to use a little psychic power that's actually pretty deadly. Let's head back to Tucson. New party member! Paula joined you. Oh god, is she like... Level one? Oh no. <laughs> At least we have more space now. She is level one. <laughs> Fuzzy pickles! If I do say so myself, okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. What a great photograph. We saved Paula. We kill this, these birds and get her some XP? Oh god. She will level up super fast once we get to the, uh, the friggin' UFOs and stuff. That's why we got Teddy. Soak some damage. Get her some levels. What, um... Oh, it's so nice here now. It's not creepy anymore. What does, um... She doesn't have any psychic abilities yet? Oh, whoops. Cows back to normal, thank god. Oh, we need to get her a frying pan and stuff. We gotta go buy we gotta go buy her gear. We gotta buy her gear.
Happy Happy Village can actually be happy now. He needs a fry pan. Uh, yes. He also needs a ribbon. Two to twenty-two. What a jump! Oh wait, we gotta get some money out. Dear old dad. Nice. She's stocked. Ready to roll. Okay, we gotta make it back to Tuzo. Time to get Paul some levels. Oh god, this is gonna hurt. Thank god we got Teddy. <laughs> Did that not put the tree in? Whoa. Get ready for the levels! Level 2! Level 3! Sty Fire! Level 4! Oh, the tree's running! Does. Is that just a heal? Oh, it put everyone to sleep? Whoa. That's weird. Oh, she has freeze too. Instant kill, but that did so much damage. Phone call. Hey, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time now. It may be none of my business. But don't you think it'd be a good idea if you took a break? No. Dad. But I understand your point about the fate of the world being at stake. I don't need to take a break. I'm a gamer. Dad. Okay, well, we're, we don't have teddy bear anymore, so this is going to be rough for Paula. Please don't hit Paula. Ness thought about eating some pizza. Oh god, Paula died. Well, that sucks. I guess I failed my mission. You go save the girl and she died. Immediately. Too bad we got, we got rid of our freaking ramen. Should have avoided the tree. That would have been smart. 
we would have been too clever. Too clever. Bum, 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 bum. shot those now. Good stuff, Ness. I think we have to go to the hospital to bring her back. Is that right? Made me relax. It's dead. That'd be rough. I got your daughter, but she's she's not feeling very good. We'll go to the hospital first. just brought in and is still unconscious. Please pay $100. Oh my god. $100? What a scam. What a scam. Okay, so we should... Oh, I level up. Uh, offense by one, speed by one, vitality by one, IQ by one, max HP, max PP. And she got shield, nice. Seems like she's gonna be a super magic user. That should be good. Down to her parents, and then we have also have to go to, um... Oh, what's his name? In the park. I knew it, you saved Paula. I don't really understand it, but I know that Paula's miraculous power and your great courage will allow you to stand up to any challenge. Paula, if you must take a trip, be sure to bring this along. It's my very own handmade band-aid. Ooh, that rhymes. I know, I'll call it a hand-aid. Did you meet Dad? He's sorry that he ever s suspected Mr. Everdread of Berglund Park. Dad in here? Oh, Paula. Ness, thank you so much. You must be the boy who will save the world like in Paula's dream. Paula, I'm sure you're, you'd be a big help to Ness. It's not every day a father lets his daughter embark on a journey to save the world. Dad, don't worry about me. Ness and I will be able to take care of ourselves. In three, the next town over will meet another friend. If the three of us can combine our power, no one can beat us. Now wipe your eyes, blow your nose, and smile before we take off. Bye, Paula. Don't worry. I won't cry anymore. He's just a he's just a good dad. He's worried about his kids, that's all. Hello, Ness? Everdread is uh looking for you. He's got something for you. That was the plan, that's where we were going next. Oh, this creeper. Unassuming local guy. What a silly name. Silly name for a mob. Bum, 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 bum. Mr. Everdread. 
I was gonna ask you to be my partner, but I know you'll refuse. It's written all over your face. You accepted I was gonna give you some money. Actually, I can't keep the money now anyway. Let me give this to you. It's $10,000. Use the money any way you like. You can't refuse my generosity. Just accept it. Now I plan on looking for the evil Manny Manny statue. That liar X aggregate. Unearthed and on it. I'll see you at another time in another space. All I got the wad of bills. Bundle of brand new crisp bills. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that can help these guys pay off their debt. Is that what we're supposed to do with it? You're with a girl today. You must be pretty popular. How about introducing her to my bandmate? He's right there. Hey, you came with Paula. Then you deserve a present, playboy. Here's a backstage pass. You can get our shows with this. The reading's taking a toll on my, on my throat. I'm a photographic genius. If I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say Fuzzy Pickles. Hello, please present your ticket. Hey Dio, what's going on? Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Here you go, hurry. You're just in time to see the Runaway 5 show. Lucky the Runaway 5 uh, told me I could go backstage, but I don't have a pass. I'm sure security will stop me. You have a pass? I can't believe it. Can you take me with you? It poses your sister. <laughs> what? Uh. Well, I made that, that girl's dreams come true, I guess. Hey, you get to see our show. You're a lucky kid. I hope you pay attention. I wrote the lyrics to most of the Runaway 5 songs. Money. That's what I want. Money. That's what is hot. Money. That's what I want. Money. It's what we ain't got. Except freedom. Freedom? Freedom. But we really suck. I want more dough all the time. These people that just want money. Well, yeah, in the old days there was a lot of dancers and acts at this theater. Except now, we're the only one, uh, the only act playing here. We've even gone into debt here, so we're pretty near stuck. The folks at Tucson enjoy the Runaway 5 shows for quite a few years. It looks like to me. Yabba doo wop, dilly dee da. I got those debt blues. If I had $10,000, I could pay off my debts and move on to the next town. I wonder if our bus still runs. It may be rusted out. Don't try to use your play money here, kid. Oh my gosh, that's not real money, is it? Wow. Can we give him the money? Yeah, that's right. Tonight you get, uh, you got the Chaos Theater's Soul Men's coming at you. Rock and roll live on this here stage for a limited time only. The world's greatest bluesman. The Runaway Five. And here they come. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, are they jamming?
These guys are having one hell of a time. Oh no, we have an ad. I should have canceled it. Oh no. I didn't see it coming up. That was quite the show. They put on a banger. Come in quick, don't be shy. I'm so excited I might just wet myself. My heart is going pitter-patter. So what'd you think? You want to see one more show? So our sound is too much for you, right? I figured as much. Mr. Poochiefoot, the manager is looking for you. I wonder what he wants. Who's the, who's Mr. Poochiefoot? Is it Mr. T? A young fan like you really gets into the Runaway Fives music? Wow, I'm impressed. Is this Mr. Poochie Fun? The Runaway Five are going to be a world famous band someday. Well, well, I got a little kid here who's talking to me like he's an adult. I'll give you one thing, you got guts, kid. Oh, he's probably over here. The Runaway Five owe me a lot of money. They'll stay here until they pay me back. They might be here for 100 years, unless you decide to pay off their debt. I mean, I can't use this wad of bills anyways, so. Excuse me? What's that you got there? Let me take a real close look. How come I can't give you the money? Take, take the money. Take, take the water bills. Yipes! You surprised me. Now I'm not sure what to do. I got the money, of course, and now the runaway are free to leave. I've got no complaints now that I have my money. Well, what do you know? This little nipper took us from a nightmare to a dream. Ah, this means we can get out of this dump. I'm a good driver. Come on, I'll show you. Alright, let's move on to the next town. I'm sure our old hunk of junk will get us there. I didn't make a spectacle of myself, did I? We saved the runaway five. With a wad of bills. That were just so graciously handed to us. Alright, is there anything we gotta do before we go to the next town? Other than just jam out. Let's take a take a quick oh, a hundred dollars. I swear that went up. Are they trying to scam me? Are they taking money from me? Think we're good? To head to the next town? Maybe we'll talk to the apple and orange kid quick. Just to be sure.
Yeah, well, he hasn't done a damn thing. He said he was gonna... Oh, yeah, he's not even there. He said he was gonna call us if he had anything else. So, I guess we're going for a ride. Let's go to three. Our two of us is too loud for any ghost to bother us. Do you want a ride? Oh yeah, let's go. Get on the bus. Okay, guys, here we go. Sidewalk, get out of my way. Oh, you know what I think we didn't do? Um... There was that other cave in Happy Happy Village I don't think we went into. I guess we can... we can always go back. Get out of here, ghosts! three. Looks like we have to say goodbye for now. This town seems pretty gloomy. But I'm sure you can light it up. The place, light up the place with your own little brand of sunshine. Hope to see you again sometime. Look for us to be singing at some theater in Foresight. Well, we just got dropped off in Creepy Town. There's graffiti here. Just play it. This is even creepier than Happy Happy Village. It's none of your business that we have a small house. Just keep all that whispering quiet out there. Zombies and ghosts are on the loose here, so I, j I can't get uh, to Tucson or Foresight. Maybe the hidden road in the graveyard is safe. It is safe. Who's this girl? I overheard the zombies whisper, Master Belch will give us our lives back. Master Belch is the zombie leader. He must be really pukey. Ugh. Must be really pukey. Hi, hello. Okay, what's in the department store? There's always good good things in the department store, yeah. Well, I guess we're kind of we're kind of poor right now. Maybe there's new items. Minor league bat, thick fry pan, hard hat. All right, we got some upgrades. I don't think Dad has any money for us though. Yeah. Ooh. We're gonna have to do some, uh, some waiting. Zombies and ghosts are on the loose here. Welcome to three. This town's so creepy. Yeah, I worked for the zombies, but I betrayed them too. I'm a con man, so I know the score. Belch gives life to the zombies, but Belch works for Gigius. Who I heard might be a female. Well, I'm not really sure whether Gigius is male or female. I'm a helpful con man, don't you think? Well, I think you're you're a con man, so you can't be that good of a person. No one's here now. If you responded, you're there. Want to escape to the beach? Is this your big dream? Come to Carol Carolyn uh, Beach in Summers. Summer Tourism Bureau. OK, 
Okay, so there's the graveyard. Welcome to the circus. I saw a suspicious woman talking with the zombies around here. What the hell are those? Puppets? Handsome Tom? Oh, okay. Do they have super high defense? Maybe we'll try free or fire. Oh, hers attack in rows. That's cool. Did I freeze? Oh my god, so much HP. Ness is now level 19. Speed went up by 1, Vitality by 1, IQ by 1, Maximum HP by 14, PP by 3. All is level 7. She's probably gonna get multiple levels here. Offense by 2, Guts by 1, IQ by 1, Luck by 1. Yeah, level 8. Sky Thunder, nice. Oh, is she my Black Mage? <laughs> Nice. She's my Vivi. Do not enter. Well, if it says don't enter, you know we gotta enter. I'm a wimpy little guy, so I can't open the door. You know it's scary. You're awfully kind taking time out, out uh, to talk to a mouse. This mouse loves you. You don't look so happy, you better cheer up, or you'll become a zombie. Some people have already become tools of the zombies. A zombie! Watching a zombie movie. Can you come by later? Nobody wants to talk. Oh damn, there are zombies up here. Um. What was that? How did it get behind me? No good fly. Oh man, we might die. Just because we got attacked, a back attack. Two enemy to one enemy. Oh, does the thunder hit everyone? Or lightning hit everyone? Nice. Putrid moldy man. Oh no, it just hits a random enemy. Okay. What about if we heal? And then... Do freeze. Get rid of this putrid moldy man. Oh my god, she's dead. Her attack still went off. That was impressive. Did we just cheat the game? I think we just cheated the game. That was so much XP. We gotta grind. We gotta get Paula up. <laughs> up some more levels. She's got like no health. Oh no, Paula. Um, where's the hospital? Where's the freaking hospital? Ah! 
Freaking pumpkin head kid. Trick or treat kid. This is very fitting. It's October now. Spit pumpkin seeds at me? Bro, why are you so strong? Holy crap. Why is he so powerful? Wait, so it... Does the game punish you for playing too long? Is that what's going on? Is that what the, what the dad meant by... If that's so, that's kind of a hilarious thing that they put into the game. $120 fee now? They're scamming me. I think the game punishes you for playing too long. Uh, pizza parlor, drugstore, okay. Dad's gotta have given us some money by now. Got to. $461, okay. To the hospital. There we go. Back on our feet. Uh, I think... We can buy some more stuff now. Upgrades. Three ninety nine. Well, we should get the weapon. We should get the weapon. Oh, no, we don't have enough money. Okay, well, I guess we're getting the. We're gonna get the hard hat then. Might as well get something, some kind of upgrade. Cookie. Buy. Hard hat. Yes. Nice. Good upgrade. Let's, um. Also give this to Paula. And we'll give. We'll give the exit mouse to Paula, too. Just so everyone's not carrying. You know what I mean? So if we give- if we have items and stuff that we need to use, people can use- everyone can use them. If we have food and whatnot. Seems smart. Oh god, we need to sleep, but it's gonna be so expensive! Oh, pumpkin guy! This retro kid out of here. Freaking pumpkin head. Does so much damage. How much is the hotel? Where this is like a hundred and eighty dollars. 120.
telling you, man. I'm getting scammed every time. Dad, I need more money. Call mom. Is that you, Ness? You called me back sooner than I thought. Everyone here is doing just fine. Oh, yes. Tracy started working part time at Escargo Express. Here, I'll let you talk to her. Call me when you have some time. Oh, you don't have any free time? Well, here's Tracy. Hello, this is Escargo Express. Oh, is that you, Ness? Big bro. It's me, Tracy. I'm working part time at for Escargo Express. Oh, that's right. She can do, um,. She's like a, like a bank inventory for you. I forgot about that. This is Xca- Your delivery charge is $18? $18. I got 22. I'm poor. I'm a poor kid. Relying on my dad. Don't kill Paula. She's got to survive to get the XP. Smelly Ghost. I freaking love the name so much. Don't attack Mala! God damn it. You suck. I should have grinded Paula up. It was a mistake. She would have leveled up so much. Oh man. Get away from me, puppet. I made such a bad mistake. We should have grinded her up. We should have went back to the robots. Now we're struggle busting hard. At least we can bring her back. Frickin' rough, man. I'm telling you, this game is just uh, relentless sometimes. Sometimes it just it beats you down. Oh, that just does a bigger heal? Okay. Ah! What? I didn't freaking see the pumpkin head. Don't attack her. I swear, don't attack Paula. Don't do it again. You rude. You rude dudes. Oh. 
Stop attacking my girl. Stop it. Get him. Get him. Don't attack Paula. Leave her alone. Oh, thank God. Didn't hit anyone. Thank you. Whew, she survived. Level nine. Okay, keep giving me the money, Dad. Keep giving me the money. Actually, it, I didn't even realize it's almost 11. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Pumpkin Man! Pumpkin Man! Get out of here, pumpkin man. Oh, ho, ho, ho. she does so much damage. She does so much damage. That was nuts. Yeah, I didn't even realize it's almost 11. Um, do, do, do. Let's go. Back to the hotel and call dad and save. Sure you power it off instead of pushing reset. That's gonna do it for today. Oh, this game is so good. So good, and I'm so excited to keep playing it. Um I will be back tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. Um We will be back then and we'll continue our earthbound grind. Hopefully we can uh, get Paula leveled up a little bit. She is a struggle bus right now. We should have grinded her, but that's how it is. We messed up, uh, and we'll make we'll make it through. Uh, thank you for hanging out. Hope you had a good time. Uh, like I said, I'll be back tomorrow morning at eight a.m. and we'll uh, we'll continue the earthbound. So have a good one. See you tomorrow.